to know. And what better person to teach us and minister to us tonight than one who has lived it, who come out of the Muslim beliefs, who come out and got set free and delivered and changed his whole inner being and revealed the truth to him. And so, and how he's been persecuted, how people he loves have been persecuted, and how things are still going on even now as he pastors here and abroad. So he's going to share with us here in a bit, but I'm going to ask Jimmy, and I'll kind of put you on the spot, Jimmy. I'm going to ask uh, our friend Jimmy to come up. And Jimmy, I just want you to share, you know, what Pastor Karami came to your church today. That's how we hooked up. And Jimmy's church today, he's come and did three services. That's how, how sought after this man of God is. He's, give, he's been a... Um, before Jimmy comes up, I just want you to know what little I know, because there's a lot I don't know. But I know that Pastor Karim has been an advisor to the Voice of the Martyrs. He has been an advisor to those in government. He's been an advisor to those that are uh, leaders in the church. He's been advisors to many, because he's lived it. So today, we're going to be challenged. Today, we're going to be inspired. And as you walk out that door, you will never be the same. Abba Father, we thank you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your life. Yeah. We thank you for your peace and mercy. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your forgiveness. We love you. Yes. We love you, Abba Father. Thank you. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, we want your anointing today, tonight. Yes. We need your oil. Come, come to our mind, to our spirit. Clean us. Yes, God. Change us, Abba Father. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, we are thirsty for you. Yes. We are hungry for you. Fill us. Yes. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ, yes. give us wisdom. Concentrate. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke any spirit of confusion, any spirit of deception from this room. In the name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke the spirit of Islam. We rebuke the spirit of fear. Because here is the glory of God. Here is light and life. Death is out. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ. yes. Please, don't let us back home as we came. Yes. Yes. We are here for you. Change us. Change us, because we need your help. Yes. Yes. We are dumb. We are foolish. We need your Holy Spirit. We need your leading. Lead us. In the name of Jesus. Tonight will be different in our life. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you, pastors, for this introduction. Thank you to accept us here for third year. Uh, who not know us? We are from Egypt. Uh, we came from Muslim background. Uh, Jesus Christ appeared for me three times and uh, talked with me, and he invited me to follow him. Wow. And after that, I was in prison many times. One for this time, I was in coma from suffering. My wife, when she accepted Jesus, her family locked her in the room for three years. Wow. All of this because we are decided to follow Jesus. Here, you have freedom to do anything. After that, we decide to continue in Egypt. Uh, we fight, we struggle, we continue under suffering. And we learn God's philosophy. Here people not like suffering. But God's ideology, he changed, he recycling the pain to make us heal. Warriors. If you want to be a warrior, you need to training. And training meaning violence, aggressive, fighting. This is will never be when you are set in your comfort zone. Yes, that's right. Yes. He must take you to the wilderness. Yes. He take Moses 40 years. He take David 40 years. 
take Jacob, 17 years. Take uh, Joseph, almost 22 years in prison. Paul was three years. If you need, God used you, be patient. Yes. Yes. Because his plan take longer time to quit you, yes. to pre equip you, to prepare you. Don't give up. Because Satan tried to let us give up. I know. When you not see God, be sure that he carry you. Yeah. Wow. When you not feel anything, close your eyes and walk by faith. Yeah. If you not see him, be sure that you are in his shoulder. Mm -hmm. We live this life for almost 22 years. And we came here to find someone can adopt our son. He's four, he, is, he was 14 years old. We came without to know any English word. And we come here, and after we give our son to another family, we discover we couldn't go back to Egypt. And they uh, killed my friends, and killed another one, and arrested one from my team. And this is all time. When you try to build the kingdom of God, you started from zero, one, two, and zero, but high level. One, two, and the upgrade, another zero, one, two. So when you feel you start from beginning, this meaning new season in your life. New season. Don't feel that you are a sinner, or you are bad, or God not love you. No. Because God loves you, he changed your character. He worked in his character. He tried to let us to be look like Jesus Christ. To be ready to be king in the heaven. Amen. Now, this is a time to change. We prepare ourselves for this. For this reason, I like, please, Pastor, can you read the uh, book of John, chapter 1, from verse 1 to verse 5? Because we must talk about the word of life. Yes. And after that, we can talk about what we need. Book of John, chapter 1, from 1 to 5. Yes. In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, yes. and the darkness can never extinguish it. Yes. This is our God. He gave us life. Give us light. Give us salvation. And this is from Genesis chapter 1. You will read about this, that God started by light, life. Satan tried to steal the life. And because he wants to steal the life, because he is a liar, yes. deceiver, and killer, yes. so he's stolen our authority <coughs> through Adam. Because he let Adam die spiritually and physically. God has a hope for us. He continue and continue, continue until Jesus come and make reconciliations and cancel the death and destroy Satan and take back our authority from Satan to us. And here on cross, we divide it to two nations. Nations of life, who has authority on death, and nation of death. Our mission is to go to kidnap people from death to be in the light. Yes. 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 If you not work like this, be sure you are dying. Yes. If you not work for kingdom of God, this meaning you work for kingdom of death. Yes. Right. Yes. Wow. Yes. If you not active and think by kingdom of God constitutions 
This meaning you live by people constitutions. If you not think by God's value, this meaning you walk by people value. This meaning you walk among people through people. This meaning you will be under spirit of deception. Yes. Right. Yes. Because God told us in the book of Genesis about Abraham. Abraham who walk with God. Yes. Abraham who walk with God. Right. But in the same time he talked about Lot. Lot, his cousins, mm -hmm. he walked with Abraham. Lot didn't have any vision because he not know God. He walked with Abraham. Abraham lied, he lied. Abraham went to Egypt, he went to Egypt. Abraham, Lot, what is your calling? My calling, I walk with Abraham. Yes, what is your calling? Your name is Lot. What is your calling? My calling, I live with Abraham. Yes, but what is your vision? Vision? I live here. No vision. If you not has vision, something wrong. Yes. yes. If you not has vision, something wrong. Yes. Tell me, I don't have vision. Tell me what, how you live, how you grow up. I will tell you what God wants from you tomorrow. Come on. Because as God has planned, when you born and grow, He work through you. Satan also has plan from the first minute you come to life. Yeah. Yeah. Understand me? Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay. So now we've come to kingdom. Kingdom of God and kingdom of death. Or kingdom of demon. Kingdom of life, give life for the world. Mm -hmm. Give them Holy Spirit. <laughs> Be life. Kingdom of death. Kingdom of demon, <laughs> he need kill. He's a killer, deceiver, liar. So, Satan is smart. After church, become strong. After church, do you know that church is Jesus Christ's body? Do you know this? Amen. Are you agree about this? Yes. Hello? Yes, amen. Okay. Jesus is the head yes. of the church. We are his body. Do you know what this meaning? Yes. Meaning you are God's hand. You are God's leg. You are God's tongue. So when you God wants to bless someone, he must use you to bless people. When God wants to go to visit someone, he will let you to be his leg to go to visit people. When God wants to heal someone, you must put your hand in the name of Jesus yes. and he will heal. Yes. And because of this, Prince of Darkness started to do something different. He started to change to Christianity come religion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, because he's a deceiver, he changed us to be a church. Not God's church, but to become our church. Yes. The world church. We have rules, we have a traditional, we have a theology, we have a denominations, and we work against each other, and we divide it. And sometimes, he come as a killer. Satan is killer. Yes. So he come by another religion, its name is Islam. And by the way, Islam not religion, Islam is spirit. Yes. yes. And yes. when you work against the spirit of Islam, this is so hard because you work against brains of darkness. So, how we can know this? We will see. And here we start to see the persecution. The persecution happened from the beginning of with Jesus. Did you remember who crucified Jesus? Religious people. Yes. yes. Who study Bible every week. Who come to the synagogue and read yes. the Old Testament. This is who crucified Jesus. Mm -hmm. Who suffering? Who has a relationship with Jesus. That's right. So it's a big difference between to meet with Jesus, this meaning you must carry your cross, or you will be from the second people who try to come every week to judge, complain. This worship not good. 
the passport today is not, no, no, something wrong. This is wrong, this is wrong to criticize. This is spirit of religion. Yeah. And this spirit come to destroy the church from inside. And by the time, we will start the gossip and talking, complain, virus like cancer in the church. Yeah. After that, by the name of freedom, he created Islam. And Islam come to kill. Yes. Who is the Antichrist? Who crucified, who not believes Jesus Christ, Son of God, mm -hmm. not crucified, yes. not risen from death. Mm -hmm. John, first John and second John talk about this. And from here we come on the front warfare, spiritual warfare. And by the way, spiritual warfare, not the conclusion. This is the beginning for preparation for kingdom of God. Yes. So Persecuted started, and to be believer, this meaning you will be in heaven, you will be light and salt, but you will be lamb among wolves. Do you know what the meaning lamb among wolves? Flames, slaughter. Meaning, wolf will eat you. Yes, yes. So must be ready for eating. Yes. To bless people. As Jesus blessed, blessed the people, we are we must be ready to bless people. From here, the persecution happened in Islam, and Islam is three spirit work together: spirit of fear, spirit of fear. You scared to talk about Islam here because they will tell you Islam phobia. Yeah. Yeah. In same time, they yeah. used this right in Middle East in Islamic country and kill Christian. That's yeah. right. Come here and talk about we need to build mosques. Yeah. There they destroyed the churches. Yes. Yes. Here they use your taxes and build church uh, mosques yes. and they take money from Saudi Arabia and Qatar yeah. and build mosques. Yeah. And then at the same time you couldn't put gospel or build the church in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Yeah. By the name of freedom. <coughs> and because you are naive, you allow for them to come and come and come. Another faces. So here, by the name of freedom, they will kill you. With us there, we stand face to face in front of the spirit of Islam. Back to Islam, or we will kill you. And you have two choices. To deny Jesus in front of people, and Abba Father will deny you, Jesus will deny you in front of Abba Father, or not deny Jesus and you will lose your life. And when you lose your life, you will find it in the heaven. Amen. I have a friend, she's 22 years old. She texted us from almost two years ago, message from three centers. My father realized that I'm a Christian. Please, pray for. If my father won't to kill me, let him kill me quickly without suffering. Mm. Number two, Give, God give me boldness mm -hmm. yes. to witness about God. Number three, God give me power to not deny Jesus. Yeah. Yes. We don't yes. know anything about this lady after that. But sure, we know that she is in heaven. So, here I will try to show you our life to start our meeting tonight. So, this is our people. This is what a Muslim doing because Muslims come here and say Islam freedom, Islam respect to women, Islam respect to Christian. We are equal. Mm -hmm. Islam, wow. Yes. And most of media here say Islam is a religion of peace. Mm -hmm. Islam, wow. Mm -hmm. Let us see what Islam is. So, when you uncover about demon, he come angry. But he is under our feet. Yes. Right, right, yeah. Okay. Come on. So this is. I want you to be happy. When something like this, when problem happen, smell the smell smell, uh, smell victory. Victory. Woo. Yes. So he come angry because he couldn't do anything. He couldn't touch you, and he is bonded. Yes. By the name of Jesus. Yes. So, our friends, this is our life. These people lived with us. And we stay with it, stay with us in our home. Some people from them, we know them very well. Some people from them uh, still working with us in the ministry. 
So, in Jesus' name, these people change their family and their community. Some from them still alive, some from them dead. But even dead, we not believe by dead. We believe that we will move. Yes, we move. yes, hallelujah. Most of time in Old Testament, Bible talking about Abraham, move his tent and build altar. Mm -hmm. So this is, we must move our tent. Yes, yeah. From here to there. But please don't forget to build altar. Altar, this is in your home for praying, yes. for worship, yes. for sacrifice. Sacrifice yourself for yes. him and he will bless you. Yes. This is most of time. So, let's work him now. I hope. Come in on. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <coughs> Until open, so persecuted for people here who live in comfort zone, the feeling, wow, it's so hot. And someone come and told me, so sorry, I'm so sorry about what you have. I looked to him, I told him, I'm so sorry about your life. Mm. <laughs> said, what? <coughs> yes, believe me, I'm so sorry about your life. Mm -hmm. If you're not suffering for God, come on. God will not use you. Amen. Yes, yes. That's good. If you're not suffering, this meaning God will not prepare you. Mm. Because as God, as people make a gold pure in oh. fire, he make us pure yes. in the fire, yes. Yes. in the problems, in temptations, in persecuted, make us heal. Yes. So don't scare. If you scare, this meaning you don't know Jesus. Mm. If you scare, this meaning you not understand God methods. Yes. And by the way, you do this with your son and your daughter. Mm. Most of the time you let your son depend on himself. Sometimes make problems. Sometimes work hard, sometimes, sometimes this is right. If you believe, if you agree about this with your sons, why you not agree that God do this with you? Mm -hmm. So that's working. The first wing for Islam, violence, killer, deceiver, destroy. Yes. But thank is God, he couldn't do anything with us. Because Islam now in the Middle East fell down. Islam now, slaughter. Yes. Islam now, a lot of people accept Jesus in Islam. Yes. Syrian refugee, yes. Iran, Algeria, Egypt, wow. Lebanon, wow. Iraq. Islam now fell down in the Middle East. Yes. Really? Wow. But in another side, another wing, Islam tried to change himself. Mm -hmm. And he come here yeah. come and on. he tried to deceive yeah. people. Yes. This is what we talk about it tonight. Yes, come on. Muslims, most of time, when you talk with him, he said, oh, we worship the same God. Your God and our God is one. We are one. We believe the same God. And when you talk with him, really? Do you believe the same God? And because you don't understand Islam, you don't understand the deceiver, and because you are naive, you will believe. And the most of secular people who not read Bible, who not understand Satan strategy, they come under the spirit of deceptions and fight against you. That's right. Yes. This is a problem. Why? Because they not understand anything and follow them. Yes. And then sometimes the church weak, couldn't convince them, couldn't go outside and talk with them. So, we will try to talk tonight about this. Do really, we worship the same God? Do you think Christians and Muslims believe by the same God? No. We will see tonight. So, as we see in the Old Testament, here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. This is what we believe. We believe by one. And Muslims also say, and our Allah and your God is one. <coughs> the, Quran, the, first, the, the verses say, O oh family of Bible, be sure that we believe by your God. Our God and our Allah and your God is one. And please be careful from the expressions. They believe by paradise. We believe by heaven. 
We believe by God. We believe by Allah. And this is a big difference. Number one, when we talk with them, okay, do you believe by Trinity? What is Trinity? Trinity, Abba Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Abba Father and the Word of God and the Holy Spirit. Abba Father and Logo, Logos and the Holy Spirit. Actually, no. So, first John said this, there are three, as you read, but that is what we believe, by Father and the Word of God and the Holy Spirit. They believe, when you talk about Trinity, directly you find them, they said, we are disciplined, these people disciplined by original translator, infidel. And please be careful from the expressions, infidel, you are infidel, not disciplined. Yeah. Do you know what is the difference? It's a big difference. Yeah. Disciplined meaning we can argue. Mm -hmm. Infidel meaning I must kill you. This is different. Yes. So, I try to show you what the Quran said by English to understand. This is what we believe. So, Trinity for us, we not believe by Trinity. So, how we are the same God? It is different. Okay, let us see about Jesus Christ, our King, yes. Amen. our Lord of Lords, yes. Captain of Captains. Yes. Our Jesus in Bible. We believe that he born and Jesus come uh, in flesh and die and raising from death. Do you believe that Jesus son of God? Yes. 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 Muslims, do you believe that Jesus son of God? No. Do you believe that Jesus come from in the flesh? No. So how you can believe that we are seeing that something wrong? Yes. Jesus crucifixions or crucified because God loved us he crucified to save us and this is the full love yes. when you die to save your people no more than this Jesus come and die to save us from death even I was sinner if I am only in this earth Jesus come to save me and he died for this by the way my friend, just my friend, Egyptian friend, he lives in Canada. He's a Christian, but he's not believed by supernatural gift or anything like this. He come from Canada, went to my team in Lebanon. They work with a Shia or a Syrian refugee camp. So he went for them and bring some stuff. And when he entered to the tent, first tent, he told them, I am coming to talk with you about Jesus Christ. The tent for consisted from 10 people in the tent, in the refugee, Muslims refugee. They looked to him, the leader, and told him, oh yes, we know him. He said, how you know him? He said, oh, just leave. He just left. He every night come here and sit with us and talk with us about himself. Oh, Hallelujah. So my friends Hallelujah. felt that this man drunk yeah. Yeah. or something. <laughs> he said, what this? He told my friend, what this? He told him, this is what they believe. Oh. Wow. Okay, let us go. He left the tent and get outside. And my friend, second friend, told me about him. Yeah. He find many kids play outside. He said, kids, come, come. I have some toys for you. This is from Jesus. Someone looked to him. He said, what? Uncle Jesus just left and he never told us that he would send someone by toys. <laughs> Who is here? He said, Uncle Jesus. Uncle Jesus. Uncle Jesus. Felt something wrong. Yeah. He went to second tent. He find lady, old lady, sleep in the bed. She lost her son and her husband in the war. She's so sick. And the, my friend, he come and said, Mom, I'm so sorry. I wish to help you and be clean for you and cook for you. The lady looked to him. She told him, son, thank is God. Every day someone come here, mm. clean the tent for me, cook food for me and give me medicine. My friend told him, what is his name? She said, Jesus. Oh, and she said, and he told him, how you know that this is Jesus? 
He said, one day he come to give me medicine. I saw scars wow. in his hand. Wow. I told him, what is this? He said, this is because I love you. Wow. My friend left the trip and back to Canada. Wow. And now he tried to find Jesus by different ways. Yes. This is our God. Yes. Satan tried to destroy these facts. Yes. That Jesus crucified because he loved us. Yes. So when you ask most, do you believe Jesus crucified to save you? No. no. Okay? So now you not believe by Trinity. Now you not believe that Jesus, Son of God. You not believe that Jesus crucified. So I think something wrong for our theology. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. We believe that Holy Spirit is our God. Holy Spirit work and live with us, teach us, training us, advise us, intercede for us. Is it right? Yes. yes. Anyone yes. not believe by this? Do you believe this or not believe? We believe it. Okay, because people are silent. Come on. So talk. This is Holy Spirit. Muslim believe because Islam is spirit of deception. Yeah. Believe that Holy Spirit is angel. His name is Gabriel. So when you talk with Muslim, when you told him, Holy Spirit talk to me, he will think this is a Gabriel, the, the angel. Not believe that G, the, uh, the Holy Spirit is our, is our God. So be careful when you talk with Muslim. So Holy Spirit is our God. Holy Spirit for them is angel, Gabriel. And as you read, this is what Quran said. We believe that God is our Father. Mm -hmm. This is one thing shocked me when I accept Jesus. I accept Jesus because I listened. My friend told me, I pray for my father. I said, pray. And by the way, pray by Arabic, meaning connections, relationship. Mm -hmm. Pray meaning connections, not pray. This is pray. Yes. So this is by Arabic. So when he told me, Father, how Father? Islam never ever believe that God is Father. Allah is Father. Mm -hmm. And he believed that who said this is infidel. And we must kill him. Mm -hmm. This is Islam as you read. <coughs> Arrogance. This is actually most of time with people who don't understand Bible and fight with Muslims. Oh, Muslims live in dangerous. Save them. They are not dangerous. They live in dangerous. I am not care about Muslims. Muslims are victims. As some Christians bring shame for God. Also, we have some Muslims bring great reputation for Islam. So Muslims and the Christian, it's not our goal. Our evaluation comes from to read what Allah said about himself in Quran. This is a Quran. He said this about himself. I think so. God said about himself that he is Abba Father in Matthew 11 29. Surah 59, verse 23, talking about this that uh, God is humble, but Allah is arrogant, proud. Who is the proud in the Bible? Who is the proud? Devil. Devil. Who is the humble? Jesus. Jesus. How we can be the same person? Mm -hmm. Something wrong. Mm -hmm. But because people live under the spirit of deceptions, we see how this problems. I like when I go any place, I like to ask yourself, can you please introduce yourself? So direct people start to introduce themselves. So sometimes Muslims try to, to explain something about Allah. Even Allah didn't say it. God in Bible, in Levitica, Leviticus yeah. uh, 19, 11, you shall not steal, neither I, I did, falsely, neither lie unto another. Don't lie, don't steal, don't do anything wrong. 
This is Bible. Surah number 3, verse 54. This is what Allah told us about himself by his mouth. And they deceived and the Allah deceived too. And the Allah is the best deceiver. Who is the deceiver? I just try to show you which kingdom you fight against. You don't fight against people. People are victims. Yes. We need to kidnap them from this authority. Yes. When we enter the house, we must abandon the strongest and steal his stuff. So to understand how you steal his stuff, you must abandon the demon. Yeah. So that is different between great deceivers <coughs> and other, our God. Did you see the, the difference? Abrogation. Abrogation in Quran is very important. You couldn't understand Islam without understanding what the meaning of abrogation. Bible from A to Z. God never says something and he changes. Right. But he take the low to deepest. Take us from deep to deepest. From relationship to more relationship. He never changed. From A to Z, he said, don't kill. From A to Z, don't adultery. Yeah. 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 This is God that never change. Yes. In Quran, Quran has a two Quran, actually, not one Quran. One Quran, when Muhammad was minority, weak, and one Quran, when Muhammad became a king. All verses talking about mercy, love, forgive, sorry, no love in Islam. Mercy and forgive and be patient abrogated by last surah in Quran last chapter in Quran the last constitution when Muhammad before die he gave Muslims a constitution surah number 9 and this surah abrogated all 111 surah as we say Take the 111 chapter from Quran, put them in the trash. And use only surah number 9. And this surah, ISIS used it. Yeah. Boko Haram used it. Taliban, Qaeda. All people, all radical Muslims know that this surah, we must leave it. Slaughter Christians. Yeah. Rape unbelievers. Yeah. Steal their money. This is what they said. So if you don't understand abrogation, you couldn't argue with Muslims. So most of the time, Muslims told you, oh, Islam says something about peace and love. Direct, go to the first surah, the, the first line. Read where this Quran comes from Muhammad. In Mecca yeah. or in Medina. Medina meaning city. Mecca, this is a Muhammad when Muhammad was weak. Yeah. So direct, when you look to this, remember, <coughs> this verse is abrogated. Cancel. No more. No more forgiveness. When Muhammad become in Medina. Understand? Yeah. So the end, cancel in the beginning. Our Bible never cancel anything because it's one word come from God. Condemnation. God, John 3, verse 13. Sorry, John 3, verse 16. And Surah number 14, verse 4. In Bible, God cried about people. And he not condemned us. He come to save us because he loves us. Because we are his masterpiece. Because we are his family. Yes. By the way, God's example or God design from beginning, he left family. Father and son and Holy yes. Spirit. And he gave Moses order to build a tent. And this tent, God's tent must be in the middle 
of the tribes. He walked with them. And when Jesus came, he came among people. He came to build a family, spiritual family. This is Jesus. Quran, therefore, Surah number 14, verse 4, when Allah want to destroy or condemn people, he send demon to let them be a, set, a, a sinner, to destroy them. When I need to destroy people, I send them, open them, put them in temptation, to let them fall down and be mistake, do mistake. And here they become sinners. Here my time come to kill them. What is Allah? He created me and let me fall down in sin. What is the better? To advise me, to save me, to help me, to teach me, or to make tricks for me, to let me fail in sin. God never condemned you. If you, are, if you did sin, don't blame yourself. Stand up, clean your clothes, yes. and say, thank you for your blood. Yes. And continue. Yes. If you feel guilty, this is demon. Mm -hmm. Enjoy by God's grace and stand up and walk. Yes. And say no more. <laughs> Again, evil. Evil, most of time, God, all the time, God told us, don't do anything with devil. Refuse the covenant of devil. Psalm 37, verse 27. No deal with demon. No deal. <coughs> but with the Quran, Surah 17, 16, Quran teaches us that when Muhammad read Quran, jinn and demon come and listen to Muhammad. And Muhammad pray, read Quran for them. He make a deal with them. If he is my enemy, how I can talk with him? Allah. How I can let stay light and darkness together in the same room? I am light and he is dark. How I can be together? If Muhammad come to help people to be far from Satan, how Satan come down and listen to Muhammad and talk with Muhammad? Something wrong. Yes. Not this only. But I will show you another verse because this is after that. Eternity. Eternity is very important in God and in Allah. Heaven for us started here. This is in Bible. Surah, uh, First Chronicles, verse two. Uh, first Chronicles, uh, chapter two, verse nine, and Surah fifty-two, seventeen, twenty-three. Pastor, if you like to read, can I give you the, the iPad to read for them because I feel. People need to read. So can you read, please? Because I like people understand what I'm talking about. <coughs> Heaven and paradise. Okay. To understand people's mentality, ask about eternal life. Our eternal life, it is a relationship with God. We will be with him. Where he will be, we will be with him. God built relationship with us. So when we die, we will be in heaven. What is heaven is, no one known. Only we'll be with him. In Islam, it is not heaven. It is paradise. Can you read paradise, yes. please? Paradise, um, Surah 52, 17 to 23. Indeed, the righteous will be in garden and pleasure. Quote, eat and drink and satisfa satisfaction for what you used to do. They will be reclining on thrones lined up and will marry them to fair women with large, beautiful eyes. And we will provide them with fruit and meat from whatever they desire, end quote. Man married 73 virgin women. Eat and drink, be happy. This is paradise. Do you think who written this teaching, who same written the, our teaching. Can you read our heaven, please? First Corinthians 2, 9. But as it is written, no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, 
what God has prepared for those who love him. Yes. Yes. Amen. Hell. Hell is very important for us. Hell for Christian is results. Consequences. Because you refuse to live with God here, the door will close and you will be outside God's house. God will not angry from you, but God will be angry about you. God will never thinking how he punishment you and hail you, look like high security police, abuse you because you refused him. God will be sad about you. So hell is result. Consequences. This is for Bible. How we can know this? Can you read please? Matthew? Yes, Matthew <laughs> chapter 13 verse 15. For this people's heart has become callous. They hardly hear with their ears and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with the hearts, and turn and would, and I would heal them. Hell in Islam is different. Allah feels that you hurt him. So he needs to take his revenge. He needs to kill us. He needs to hurt us. So this is psycho. Allah is psycho. Do you know psycho? <laughs> well, he needs counsel. <laughs> I'm serious. Allah needs needs counseling yeah. because Allah in Islam is Muhammad. Yes. All teaching come from earth. Yeah. Wow. Can you read please Surah 4, 56? Indeed, we shall soon make those who deny our signs into a fire. As often as their skin becomes scorched, we shall replace them with other skins so that they may taste the punishment. Indeed, Allah is almighty, all wise. What is Allah? What is the tutor? He created me to, to worship him and obey him if I not obey him. Why he won't punish me? And after that told you, Islam is give you freedom. Freedom only for one thing, to be, obey Allah. Do you think this is the sin? For attitude? For mentality? for behavior, for teaching, something different. Do you know what is the difference? Light and darkness. Yes. Life and death. Demons, because demon is important in Bible, and demon is important in Quran. Demon is our enemy, and no deal with them. But demon in Quran is different. Can you read, please? Surah 72, 1. Yes. Say, O Muhammad, it has been revealed to me that a group of jinn listened and said, Indeed, we have heard an amazing jinn or demon. Demon or, din, uh, or jinn? This is a Muslim jinn because Muslim believe that even Satan, good Satan and bad Satan. Good Satan will be in, heaven, in paradise. Good Satan will listen to Quran and repent and scare. This is Islam. Look to Bible. What Bible said, please read. Leviticus 19.31, do not turn to mediums or seek, our, seek out spirits, for you will be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. God is clear. God is clear with his voice. God is just. God never compromise. God voice and Satan voice. We know, Jesus said, my sheep, listen my voice. They know me and they follow me. So we must know what is the difference between God's voice and demon voice. So as a biblical, we must refuse Satan voice. Can you read John 10, 27, please? John 10, 27, yes. my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. Yes. In Quran is different. In Quran, when Muhammad received inspiration from Gibrail, Satan interrupt the, the, the inspiration and put his word. And Muhammad think this is coming from Allah. And after that, after sometimes. Allah sent him a messenger again and told him 
please forget this and forget this and forget this. Why? Because this has come from deen. How Muhammad not realize about what is the difference between voice of Satan and the voice of Allah? We can realize about what is the difference because the Holy Spirit inside us. We know what is the difference between bad and good, light and darkness. Can you read, please, Pastor? From the Quran, we have sent no messenger or apostle before you. With those recitations, Satan did not tamper. Yet Allah abrogates, and Satan inter interpolates. Then he confirms his revelations, for Allah is all-knowing and all-wise. This is one from my problems with Allah. I am a slave. We are a slave. We don't have any right just to obey. Our God never call us slave. He calling us beloved. Calling us his children. Do you think this same can be when? Do you think God and Allah can be similar? How some Catholic popes believe that Allah is and God is one. And they pray every year together in New York yeah. Cathedral. Bring Catholic Bob and Sheikh from Mosque and uh, Rabbi from yeah. Jewish and they pray together for one God. Do you see how Satan deceived yes. people? Yeah. And they try to be a one world religion. This is Antichrist. Yes, it is. Our God, He calling us son, children, daughters. Yes. There Allah calling people slave. Yes. Read please Surah 15, uh, 51. And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. Only worship. Only worship. But God created us for something different. Read, please, first joke. See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. Big difference between God and Satan. Here, there are other problems. So we finish his identity, his ideology. Come to see each one, how he separated his message. God gave us authority to love. We will change the world by love. And because we will love, people will hate us. Please read Luke 9 1. And he called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. Islam, therefore, he separated his message by fear. Kill unbeliever until become believer, not fight. All of time you read books, fight. No fight. Kill them. How after he killed me, I will be most killed. Because Satan is killer. So anything, if I am refused you, you must kill me. Bible different. Our God, he wants us to save. It's a big difference between God and the I and Allah in his in his separated the message. Again, continue. He killed people. Read, read it, 12, please, Surah. Then the Lord signaled you to angels. I am indeed with you. So steady the faithful. I will cast terror into the hearts of the faithless. So strike their necks and strike every limb joint. Yes. Terror. He put fear inside us. <coughs> scaring us. How this? How we can worship one? He knows that I'm afraid from him. Mm -hmm. I worship him because I'm afraid from him. Can I accept this Allah? Muslims, victims, blind, like religious Christians. Yes. Blind, not understand. You need to learn this, to talk with them by love. Open people's eyes to let them see how is the difference between our God and their Allah. Most of the time when I remember, when I read this, I remember my friends, when they know I'm a Christian, they stop me in the street and they spit in me. And I cleaned myself and said, God bless you. They hate me. 
You are a coward. I said, no, you know I'm not a coward. I am strong enough to fight with you. Yes. But God teach me to be lame. Yes. People most of the time angry from this. But yes. by, the time, by the time you discover that this is our ideology. Yes, yeah. truth and lies. Okay, yeah. I will back again from this, but this is here. So people, we must bless. Bless who curse you. Bless anyone who abuse you. This is blessing. Our message is to bless people. But come to Surah 2, 194. What they said, Pastor? So whatever transgressed against you, so transgress you against him, as he, as well as he transgressed against you. It's it's violence. It's violence. Difference. Truth and lie. Islam gave Muslims. Learn this. Islam has right to deceive and lie on you for three cases. With wife, with the, when he separated his world, in court among Christians. This meaning, if Muslims kill Christian, or Muslims kill American, and to go together to court by a Muslim witness, Allah give me right to lie to protect my Muslim brothers. Mm -hmm. You know what this meaning? This meaning it's no honor. You will be under spirit of deception. They kill you, and after that, no, I didn't do it. What? This is Islam. Please, please. Surah number 2, 2, 225. Allah does not impose blame upon you for what is unintentional in your oaths. It Sounds like perjury to me. Yes. No problem. If you if you scare, if you swear, if you say something by under pressure, God will forgive. Allah will forgive you. It is permission to lie. It's permission to deceive. Permission to to kill. Permission to do everything wrong. Is this God? Relationship. Jesus come to build relationship with us. Allah, no relationship with him. Because when you pray, you obey his rules. In the end of days, when you stand in front of angels to account you, because you have a two, a two angels above your shoulder. And when you go to paradise, you will be with women and will be with wine and milk and honey. So from A to Z, no relationship with Allah. But God is different. Holy Spirit with us forever. Amen. He is with us. He, I will be with you. This is the big difference between Allah and Jesus. Yes. Read Surah 518, please. But the Jews and the Christians say, we are the children of Allah and his beloved. Yes. He talk about deceiver, liar, infidel. Because Jews and the Christians said we are children of Allah. This is infidel. They are infidel. How you can be infidel? How you can be children of the Allah? It is problems. Marriage. From beginning, Adam for Eve. Not Adam for Steve, by the way. Yes. Uh -huh. Adam for Eve. When Adam, when Eve. Lord and his church. Lord, man, groom, and his pride. We are his pride. One pride. Yes. Islam come to give man authority to marry four women. Mm -hmm. How can be same Allah? Read please Surah 4.3. If you fear that you may not deal justly with the orphans, then marry another or marry other women that you like. Two, three, or four. Two, three, or four. As you want. This is without right hand. Right hand meaning slave, mm -hmm. like ISIS. Each one has 10 women, 15 women. And why? Because Islam actually against women. Do you know why? Islam against women. Islam not respect women. Because from the beginning, God put enmity between uh, women's uh, seeds and serpent seed. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, it is enmity. When we see in Jesus Christ's time, who crucify Jesus? Men or women? Who lie? Men or women? Who betray Jesus? 
men or women? Who stealing his money, men or women? Who was in front of cross when Jesus crucified, men or women? Where is his disciples when women went Sunday morning to tune? In the room, scaring. Who denied? Who paid to support Jesus' ministry? Women. So, where is the first church? To women. Lydia. So, Satan understands very well. If he shut women's mouth, he can destroy the world. So, what did he do? He let her be dressed a cover. And give man authority to beat her and marry three and four and abuse her. Why? Try to kill. Yes. This is Satan. Ideology, he's smart. He play by humanity. He used any card can destroy God's plan by it. Mm-hmm. Women, as we talk about women, women much, much abuse in Quran, but in Bible, we see how Jesus respect women. And by the way, Jews and Pharisees, angry from Jesus, when they saw him talk with women, when he healing son of women, when he tried to heal women. By the way, two things happened with Jesus, not with any other one. <coughs> Unclean touch Jesus, and Jesus touch unclean. Someone, if people touch him, he will be unclean. Do you know who is this? The bleeding woman. Bleeding woman couldn't touch anyone. Why? She was unclean. Another one, if you personally touch him, you will be unclean. Do you know who is this? Lepers. And I think he hugged him. Yes. Because he's unclean and when someone touch him, a lot of time we miss to touch, to hug our family because no one hug us. One day here, from two years ago, my pastor walk with me and put his shoulder, his hand above my shoulder when we walk. I start to cry. He looked to my wife behind. She cried. We cry because no one touched us and hug us mm-hmm. like this. Mm-hmm. Touch people. Touch people. People need touch of mercy. Yeah. People need love. Right. Not scary. <coughs> Don't be afraid. Touch, hug. This is very important. Mm-hmm. You don't know what you're asking for, Pastor. <laughs> yes. If you wait at the end, there'll be a line to hug you. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All of this about women? Here we see who is Allah. Who is Allah? God and Satan. Allah is the truth and light. Satan is deceiver. God accepts sinners. Allah steals. God gives life for people. Allah kills. God heals. The sick, sickness. God, Allah destroyed them. Who do you think Allah is? Satan. 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 Do you think what we can do with this man, with this spirit? Cast him out. Cast him out. So when you go to speak with Muslims, remember that you talk with someone weak, victim. But you need to abandage first the demon who control in Muslims. Yeah. So before you go to talk with Muslims, pray in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of Islam from your mind. Wow. I control by Holy Spirit on your mind. I put Jesus Christ's blood on your mind. Yeah. I put Jesus Christ's blood on your emotion. No angry. I rebuke the spirit of religion. I rebuke the spirit of fear. And go. He's yours. If he refused, this not meaning refused. No, this meaning it's beginning. It is beginning that God work with Muslim through you. You put seeds. This meaning after little time, another one come and put some water. 
After that, someone come and harvest him for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So don't accept, don't feel, if Muslim not accept you, this meaning something wrong. No. He'll grow up for 30 years about something. How we can accept it? Even Catholic, talk with Catholic about uh, relationship with God. They were refused. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you expect from most? Yeah. And after that, when you talk with him, right. back again to your home, bow in front of God. Pray. Why? To protect what you put in his mind yeah. under Jesus Christ's blood. Yeah. Protect your seed. Because if you don't protect him, do you know what will happen? Right. Satan comes in the night and steals or seeds mm -hmm. and leave. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we pray before, not pray after. Sometimes we pray after, not pray before. It's wrong. You fight against preacher is prince of darkness. Mm -hmm. And remember two things, please. God will be happy when one sinner accept Jesus. Yes. 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 Heaven yes. will be a celebration. Yes. 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 When you Hallelujah. kidnap one from darkness yes. to heaven. Yes. Yeah. Number two, God has plan for this person. Yes. Yes. So please help God to let him do what he wants from this person. Yeah. Because God loves him as he loves you. Yes. And God gave him plan as he gave you plan. Mm -hmm. Because as you have a name and he put your name in his hands, he put his name, or give him his name, and put his name in, his, in your hand. Yes. But he's victim. He's blind. And because you pray, because you're a spiritual person, you must understand how to be strong in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Fighter. Yes. Yeah. Soldier in army. But the problem, God give you victory, but you not stand to steal and to, to take Satan's stuff. When last time you share gospel with someone from your neighborhood? Come on. This is question for you. Come on. When last time you share gospel with someone from your neighborhood? Amen. I'm not talking about Muslims now. Amen. I'm talking about American people. Mm -hmm. Okay, forget. When last time you share gospel with one from your relative? Yeah. When last time you pray with your wife or you with, with people who live in your home? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Godly people never, when the Bible talk about godly people, all of time talk about altar. Yeah. They built altar because they not forget. Altar is very important. This is the password for revival. Ooh. Altar is praying, worship. Yes. Without worship, no victory. When you worship, Satan is scared. Yes, come on. But worship, teaching, it's no problem. No problem. That's good. But worship. Why? Because Satan understands. When you worship, God smell you. And be happy. Please, please, I beg you. Your target, four people. For this year, took us four people only. Like Muslim Brotherhood. I will teach you what Muslim Brotherhood is doing. Mm -hmm. Number one, talk with one from your family. Yeah. Your husband, your wife, your children about Jesus Christ. Number two, talk with, uh, uh, with one from your relative about Jesus Christ. Number three, talk with one from your neighborhood about Jesus Christ. Number four, talk with one from your friends about Jesus Christ. If you're more bold, talk with one in the street yeah. about yeah. Jesus Christ. More bold, be light and salt in your work and talk with one about Jesus bold. Christ. Again, one from your family, one from your relative, one from your neighborhood, one from your friends, one from your uh, partner in work, and one from the street. Yes. Meaning you must be light and salt. How I can do it? I will tell you how. Hour is 60 minutes. Is it right? Mm -hmm. What is the 10% from 6 minutes? 6 minutes. 6 minutes. 
Try to training yourself. Every 54 minutes, give your heart for God for six minutes. Yes. Wow. Hard? Okay. Every 30 minutes, give your heart for God for three minutes. Try to live guide. Try to build relationship with God. This meaning, two hours and 14 minutes, you will pray for God. You will build relationship with God. Here only God will tell you about the secret of heaven and give you the anointing. Yes. Nothing for free. God crucified. This is much expensive price. Yes. If you need his crown, go. Walk in this way yes. to cross. Yes. Nothing for free. Mm. You need God use you? Okay, work. Do you need God use you? Don't stay and tell him, use me, use me, yeah, use come me. On, come on. This is not that. No. Take drugs or play magic. <laughs> God like long term. Yeah. Quit you for long term. Yeah. Yeah. You need revival. Yeah. Okay, I need revival. Go to your neighbor. Bring your neighbor here to church. Yes. This is no excuse. Oh, we have a small church, small oh, room. You have a big room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fill it. Yes. I don't have, I am busy. I, I have much work. You have much work? Come on. Please, live for God. Yes. Work for God. Yes. Better than to live for work. Mm -hmm. You are not have any excuse. Mm -hmm. Please, no excuse. No excuse. If you want God revival, no excuse. No excuse. Understand me? Yeah. I'm afraid. Uh, uh, the chair tonight from the American Awakening has come to hear you. And um, over this past week, they helped to lead a thousand people to Christ in the streets here. 1500. Wow. 1500. So the, wow. the numbers actually went up since the last time I heard. But yeah. could you pray the grace for them? Uh, to, 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 to know how, as you've explained, was very, very, very extensively tonight. Yeah. Uh, in fact, the one that really pointed out to myself, the one that hit me personally, was the one about how the Muslim, and I've known this, but the Muslim women uh, uh, kept quiet. The, 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 the women in the Church of Jesus Christ have kept the Church alive for many years. Uh, and so I can see the understanding of Satan deceiving yes. and keeping them quiet. Yes. But could you yeah, could you pray that prayer over the teens that's going out to the streets that they would have the grace to Jesus, be the knowledge? Yes, sure. Please come. Come on, guys. Come. And I think this is for this everyone. Is all this is really for, for me, everyone. actually. Because everyone's a soul. We're, we're not all called to the fivefold ministry of evangelists, but we're all evangelizing. We're all called to evangelize. Wow. Oh yes. Uh, I, you know, this is you know, God is God really. Uh, you know, he, he sets things up for a reason. Yeah. And we're, we're going to Canada uh, in a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. I, you know, Canada Toronto. is full of Toronto. And it's full of, full of Muslims. Straight from, you know, straight from Syria and the, the, the Middle East parts. And these guys are really hardcore uh, Muslims. And so uh, we're going there to evangelize the word of God. And I just uh, feel like, you know, Carl is going to be here tonight so that you can pray over us so we can have an anointing yes. to really reach them. Yes. You know, um, just to let you know, we do have the grace and an anointing to reach uh, many Muslims, and we've reached uh, hundreds of, you know, hundreds of thousands of Muslims uh, here in America. But it's a different story when they're straight from the Middle East, you know. So, um, so we, you know, we were in London, and, and droves of droves of Muslims were laying there. They were, they were, you know, bowing their heads, accepting Jesus into their hearts. You know, but if you talk to them, and the anointing is on you, and the power of God is on you. You know, it breaks down their beliefs. Their belief is not a real, true belief. It's a, yeah. it's a lie. It's a lie. And it cannot come up against the power of the truth of Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit leads us into all truth, and it reveals the secrets of heaven. Yes. And there's a power behind it. Yes. So um, when, when, when they're not sure, when they, you know, all the violence they believe in, all the lies they believe in, that's what they are, lies. So it, it has no foundation. You get, you get what I'm saying? So when it comes up against the rock and the foundation, it you know it latches on and it holds on to something real, or something their very heart desires. 
So, you know, there was a, a, a man who, who, you know, bowed his head in front of him in a Muslim neighborhood and said, please hurry up because I don't want, it's Ramadan. I don't want people, my friends, to see me praying with you. But he accepted Jesus Christ. And we have thousands and thousands and thousands of stories like that with Muslims. So please, you and your wife, pray for us so that we yes. can go and have, you know, the, the anointing of God. Yes. Uh, and, and, and I wasn't recording that. Okay. Uh, by the way, when I come, every time I like, most of the time don't prepare anything. I like, you know, when school is good, tell me what can I do. I need to help people. Yeah. Nothing. God is great. It's time. Yeah. What can I do? Yeah. We are alive until yeah. get the door here. What can I do? What I will say, it's empty. Yeah. And I'm sleeping in the time of the car because now I will back to Virginia driving direct to Virginia, so I arrived in the morning. Yeah. So when I met with the pastor, what do you think? I feel I need to talk about Islam, Allah, and God. I think this is a good time yeah. for yeah, you, yeah, useful yeah. for you, Thank you. to do you, it. Thank you can you. win in just a few weeks. Yes. You can win in a few weeks. And when we get done praying, I want to open it up to questions and answers, yes. okay? Sure. We're not in a hurry. Yes. Nobody's in a hurry. I'm happy. We need to a train to equip everything. Yes. 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 Train equipped. Yes. Yes. Train equipped. Train equipped. Train equipped. Thank you, Father, that you prepare your army here to go to Kanka, Spirit of Islam. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, because you rise your heroes here. You have a heroes here. You have an army here. Go. will go and destroy and kill spirit of darkness and the kidnap people from darkness to life. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, I put this team under Jesus Christ's blood. Protect their mind from a spirit of deception. Protect their mind from any spirit of fear. In the name of Jesus, any spirit of wickedness, any spirit responsible about disease or sickness in the body, in the name of Jesus, I put Jesus Christ's blood above all this team. Surround them by angel. Surround them by angel, by army. Your army in the name of Jesus. Give them double from your spirit. Jesus, you know how we are weak. So we need your power. In the name of Jesus Christ, give these people boldness, wisdom, anointing. And in the name of Jesus, give them anointing by spirit of discernment. The spirit of discernment to understand who's lie and who's truth. In Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, prepare the Muslims. Prepare the people in Canada now. Who yes, right these people will go to talk with them? In Jesus Christ's name, prepare the way in front of them. Let them go to be cancer and created and created and created a new way in the desert. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, give them anointing for healing. Anointing for cast demon out. In the name of Jesus, we are to up. To top and Satan to down in the name of Jesus. All these people never be killed. These people will be ahead in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anointing, anointing, anointing. One equal thousand, two equal ten thousand in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because you saw Satan fell down from the sky to the earth. Thank you, Jesus, because yes. you give us victory. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, you give us yes. to be faithful yes. and fruitful yes. for yes. your kingdom. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, no more fear. No in, the more name fear. Of Jesus. Yes. in the name of Jesus Christ, protect them from any, anything Satan try to stop them to yes. travel. Yes. Cover their financial, cover their protections, their way, uh, prepare the, their, the hotels, prepare everything for them. Prepare the materials, everything yes. from A to Z for this trip in the name of Jesus, yes. under Jesus Christ's blood. Yes. Father, I pray for people who lead them, yes. the 1,100 people. Yes. 
I am sure you are happy for this. We are happy for this. But please protect these people. Protect their faith. Work in them. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Don't let them sleep. Let them be fire and fire and seeking about him in the name of Jesus Christ. It is your time, Holy Spirit, for these people. Make a revival. You are the people. Make a revival by these people. 1,100 families will accept you. In the name of Jesus. 1,100 home churches will open by these people. In the name of Jesus. By faith we see. By faith we see these people, heroes. Teach them. Teach them, Father. But teach this team also how they suffer for you. Teach them how they carry their cross. Abba Father, show them. Give them scars in their body to be happy in the heaven, to be proud by you in the heaven. Thank you. Jesus, we love you because you love us. Because you give us responsibility to change the world when we are weak. In the name of Jesus, bless these people. Yes. For you, by you, yes. through you, yes. in Jesus Christ's name. Yes. Amen. 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 If we could just, if we could just have a seat, because I, I, I really feel like we have to shift here just for a minute. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm at Walmart, Pastor. I'm at Walmart. You're on a mission. Okay. Good morning. Hey, how are you? I am good. How are you? I'm good. I will tell you something because I know that you try to buy something. I can give you something to buy it, and you, if you buy it, you will never lose after that. How, how much? How much? It is by your life. I want to give you something for all your life. I think you, from your clothes, you are a Muslim. Is it right? I am. I am a good Muslim. Okay, that's good. I have a question for you because this is important for me. Because you are a Muslim and you pray and you fast, you do everything good. If you die now, where you will be? Hell or paradise? No, I, I am paradise. I am a good Muslim. Thank God that you will be in paradise. But please show me in Quran where you will be in paradise. Which promises in Quran give you that you will be in paradise? Because actually I was, I, I was a Muslim and I left Islam because I find something in in Bible, talking about if you die now, you believe by Jesus Christ, you will be in eternal life. So show me in Quran where, if you die now, you will be in paradise. I know, this is number one. No verses in Quran promises anyone to be in, in paradise except one thing. To blow up, your, you blow up yourself. To be murdered. To kill Christian. That's only. Okay, so understand. So what is he saying? First thing you do. If you die now. Show me in the Quran yeah. where it says this. Number one. Number two. I want to ask you as a question because this is changing my life also. Do you think God loves good people equal bad people? No. Okay, that's good. So meaning God loves good people and they hate bad people. Yes. yes. Where is God's mercy? Okay, if you said yes, God loved both equal. Mm -hmm. My question for you, where is God's just? Mm -hmm. Something wrong in this question. Yeah. This has helped me because when Jesus died on the cross, he made reconciliations. He gave sinners right to be as a, as a free man. <laughs> and then sometimes if you did a good deed with God, you will be in heaven, but in the high level. Okay. But in general, both of them, God loved them, because both of them, God created them as on his face, on his image. Okay. So second question, do you think God loves good people equal bad people? If people said yes, where is God's justice? People work good. How can be equal with people who not did anything good? good. If said no, God loves good people only, where is God's mercy? On cross, we find solution for these problems. 
But I, I don't, I don't believe in Jesus. Oh yes, sure. No. Well, no problem. For me, it's no problem to believe by Jesus. No problem. I don't need you to believe by Jesus, by the way. I want you to follow Jesus. I don't need you to believe. Because... He's prophet. Oh, yes, I believe. But I have questions for you. Do you think God loves you? I, I hope. I've worked very hard. Yes. I'm a good Muslim. Yes. But show me in Quran where God loves people. I'm saying, even you are a good Muslim, you did a lot of sins. How can God love you if you are a sinner? So you see here? So what is he saying? Show me in the Quran. You always have to go back to the Quran. Yes. Quran and Bible. Here I know that you are a good Muslim, but let me share you with you something about Bible. I was Muslim like you. I didn't do anything about God. I was a slave of God as a good Muslim. I fast, pray, do everything. But after that, I didn't find anything good in Islam. I feel no peace inside myself. I didn't have any relationship with him. I felt something wrong. My friend gave me Bible. Do you know what the meaning of Bible? No. Good news? No. Good news meaning Jesus Christ. We don't believe, I know we don't believe, but Jesus for us has meaning. Jesus as a name, meaning our savior. So Jesus, our savior, come to the world to save people from sin. If you believe by this, you will be in heaven. And this is the good news. But, and this but, is changing but, my life. Let me continue you, with you, please. How can you believe? How no, can no, you I will believe? tell you, I will tell you, but let me continue no. with you because this is important to understand. I know you can believe or no. not believe, but. How do you have a relationship? This is a relationship I am not. in peace. I was miserable, I was sad, I was crying. God changed everything in my life to give me peace and love. At least you don't know where you will be. Now, if, you will, if I die, I will be in heaven. But you don't know where you will be. I, I believe that God loves me. You don't believe that God loves you because Quran not has hope. All the Bible talk about love and hope and relationship with God. For this, did you read before the gospel? No. How you, how you not believe by something you not read about it? Please read it. And after that, if you not like, take the Bible and give it to another one. Because it's not, it's shame if you throw this book in the trash. Read, if you don't like, give to another one. And the other one, maybe he will believe by this. But I believe that I'm not, I, I cannot have that kind of relationship. I okay. can't. Yes, you can't because you don't know what the meaning of relationship. You don't know that God, we're calling him father. Islam, most of time, I felt that Islam, let me be slave. I am under dictator. Not give me freedom to choose. Not give me time to think. Not give me time to take action with him by myself. But with Jesus, he all the time <coughs> tell me, I love you, eternal love. This meaning, if I am sick, if I am good, if I am sad, if I am happy, if I am sinner, not sinner, God love me. In Islam, you must do everything good, as you said, a good Muslims, to follow Allah. And in the end, you don't know where you will be. And by the way, Muhammad friends, Muhammad promised him he will be in paradise. Mm -hmm. Before he died, his name Abu Bakr, he said this, if my leg in the paradise and the other leg outside paradise, I never trust in God because he is great deceiver. <coughs> I think you need to read Bible. And after that, if you look like, okay, as you want. But my prayer for you, God open your eyes to see the love story in this book. But how can this be? How can this be? Because I am I am forbidden to have anything to do with you. Yes. This is the difference between Quran and Bible. You couldn't touch Quran when you are unclean. You must be clean. Our Bible, if you are unclean and touch our Bible, you will be clean. So this is what change you. This is what will not change you. This is will bless you. This is will not bless you because this is order for you. You must obey this book. This book gives you life. Change your life. It is big difference between death and life. Did you see what I am talking about? Yeah. yeah. Life, easy word. I never used Son of God. I never used Trinity. I never used hard expressions for Muslims. Wow. Easy word about Jesus. What the meaning of Jesus? What the meaning of Bible? 
what the meaning of eternal life, what the meaning of relationship, easy words. And during this, he will listen. Now remember, you have been praying before you go out to do this, okay? First of all, not all of us uh, say, hey, you know what, I'm gonna hit the streets today. You know, we pray, we get ready for it. I know the team does this. I know that they pray and prepare before they go. Paulo, I know when we do it, we pray before we go. We get God's assignments we had. But do you know that you're on assignment 24-7? God is going to set you up. So you have to be ready. I love what you said about spending the, this many minutes every half hour. With, to just check in with God. To pray without ceasing. To know God. You know, he's setting you up. He, he trusts you because you have his anointing. You have the Holy Spirit and the righteousness that's in you. It is his righteousness. It is the Holy Spirit. He will lead you and guide you. But he's preparing you for those divine appointments because they'll come. They'll come at the gas station. They'll come in your home. They'll come in Walmart. What will be the next step? Okay, next step. Uh, most of time, Muslims not believe by Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, I don't. It's corrupted. It's, it's, Bible is corrupted. It is evil. It's evil. Okay. Can you? Do you think can God? Do you know how many years take time to written this Bible? It's two thousand years, almost one thousand six hundred forty years. Do you know how many godly men written this book? Forty people. Do you know what this meaning? If Allah allow for 40 books, for 66 books, for 40 prophets, their books corrupted, who can give you guarantee that your book also not corrupted? If the book has 40 prophets written the book for through 1,650 years corrupted, how about Quran who written few 23 years from one man? Can you trust in this God? Number two, tell me who is corrupted the, the Bible. Do you know who is corrupted? No one knows. So how you can believe by something you not know? Show me in Bible. What is the original Bible? What is the original Bible? We have original Bible. Yeah. Show me which verses in Bible corrupted. Where corrupted? When corrupted? How corrupted? Who corrupted the Bible? Mm -hmm. Questions, logic questions, very important. And most of not has any answer about this. Amen. Amen. And this is what we want to do. So we're we're just giving you some things so that you'll have some tools so that when you're ministering. But this is what I want to do because Pastor Karim has been he kind of really smoothed it out tonight. The very first few times I've seen him, and he gave all of these horrendous stories. Horrendous. Some of the ladies told me they couldn't come tonight because they couldn't bear to hear these stories. Stories of women being cut out of, being their babies cut out of them if they would renounce their faith. Killing their children in front of them. Killing their wives, their, their beloved. Killing them. He's seen this. She, I don't know if you caught that. Yeah, that was. She was locked in her room for three years because she became a believer. Three years. There's others that are killed. These are things that they endure. He is in prison repeatedly. We could go on and on. They continue. They continue to pastor this church from abroad. Can you share a little bit about that? What are some of the reports that you're getting from abroad or what's going on? Because see, this is what it, our media keeps all of this from us. Unless you're reading the voice of the martyrs, you know none of this. None of it. So just share. What are you? What are some of the reports that you're getting? Just now. Good news or bad news? Give it. Give it. Give whatever. Good news. Okay. Uh, last news for us, my friend in Lebanon. Uh, he went to among Hezbollah to do ministry. <laughs> And his wife, the man, the leadership, his wife has a cancer and bleeding. So the doctor would decide to cut her priest. So this woman come to my friend and told him, please ask your God to heal you. My friend talked with her about Jesus. And they pray for her. 
During she prayed, she felt like iron. Do you know iron? Mm -hmm. Iron. Iron. Hate. And she felt fire here. Mm -hmm. She back home, she slept. They later she went with her husband to hospital to make a surgery. And when they started to check all researches, all things, they find no cancer. Everything good. Amen. This lady except Amen. Jesus. Christ. Amen. Amen. This is one story. Another bad story. It is most of time this. Uh, we have a friend. We have a friend. We have a friend. Her family raped her just to break her. Again, in Syria. In Middle East, we, our family must marry each other, mm -hmm. must marry as a cousins. Mm -hmm. This is our, our rules. I must marry my cousin, and my cousin must marry me. In Syria, when people accept Jesus and want to escape from Syria to Turkey, to be sure, because in, in Middle East, if you become a not virgin, no one will marry you. So this family, when they know that this lady accept Jesus, they raped her. And did her to come. She come to her to Turkey. She pregnant. She has a big problems because no father. Here it's so easy for you to live a single mom. In Middle East it's big problems because no certificate of birth, no education, nothing for her for her baby. It is big problems. And we have we not have solution until now. Mm -hmm. It's because this has happened last couple of weeks. So this is a problem. They rape women. Why? And this is family, not outside family. Mm -hmm. Just to try to teach her. Go if you want. And no one can marry her because it is problem. It is problem. But we not have also men in same age to marry her. So that is one of our problems. So that is a two stories, good news and good and bad. One of the things that, and that you guys that were here before in the last couple of years, you know that he spoke briefly about how they come to get their son adopted at 15. Can you tell them the reason why you did that? My son, in the, when he grew up, he was a Muslim because he was Muslim ID card. We couldn't change our ID cards. So, when you go to school, you must study Islam because he's a Muslim. Meaning he must go to mosque, he must pray, he must do everything. And when he back home, he must live our faith, Christianity. So my son has a two characters. So he become at his under stress, he becomes sleeping walk. And by the way, he become a schizophrenic. You know schizophrenic? Two yeah, characters. Schizophrenic. Thank you. And doctor said, this is under stress. This is what happened. Come anxiety. So we decided to bring him. And one time in Islamic class, the teacher push him, push him, push him, put stress on him until he took that he is a converted and he's a Christian. Uh, his people, his friend beat him in the school. Even he's in Christian school. The owner and the headmaster expelled my son from school. And we don't have anything to do except to find someone here can adopt him. So we bring him here, and he, someone, American friends, not friends because we didn't know him before, adopt him and stay with him four months. And one month, before, one, one week, or 10 days before we leave back to Egypt, we discover that we couldn't also back to wow. Egypt. So my son come with a new family. Yeah. We are in Virginia, and our ministry in Egypt. Now, um, I know that you're still involved big time. First of all, this right now, I'm a woman, okay? So this would never happen here. It would never happen. I couldn't speak to you, you know, and I'd have to be totally covered. But as, and so this right here is just a representation yes. of Jesus. Yes. Isn't this wonderful? He's so faithful. But I want, this is what I want to do. I'm going to have Paulo come help me because Paulo, you need to move. Okay, I need you to help me. Yes, I want people to start asking questions and you Someone take the mic too. Okay, hold your hand I up if you have a question. question. Yeah. Oh, yes, please. So, when I was, um, so I grew up with actually with best friends from Egypt. 
Yes. My, my best friend, Haney, uh, Haney Awa. He's a Christian. No. Um, I believe, well, he's in Florida now, and I've been praying for him for years. And he's, he's a Muslim? Muslim? His, his family was, is, is Muslim. And um, I was very close with, with, with him in school. They were like secular. They weren't really following, you know. Um, they weren't strict. They were very loving people. And um, so, um, you know, I was raised Catholic. And I was, growing up, I, I was upset with the hypocrisy in my family. And how I knew, you know, the, the sins of some people and how they would be elevated in the church. So I was impressed at the discipline um, that this Muslim family had, you know, not drinking, not, you know, doing, like they weren't, yeah. they weren't praying five times a day, but they were still following some yes. of the tenets of the faith. Yeah. So um, I read the Quran twice. I was actually going to be a Muslim. I was, I was almost became a Muslim when I was 19. And both times I had to go back and read it again. Uh, but, you know, God woke me up. Uh, you know, yeah. spiritually, yeah. you know, and, and, and showed me, you know, that it was basically 90% lies. Yeah. I mean, 90% truth and 10% lies, you know, because yes. our salvation was purchased on, on the cross. Yes. And they don't believe that Jesus is. So I've, I've um, you know, I, I even went so far while I was reading the, the Quran. I remember I was in college and I had a communications minor. And I, I uh, so I did a, a PowerPoint presentation about Basically, it was during uh, around the time of like the Twin Towers and 9/11. So I defended Islam a little bit. Still a Christian, but you know I was kind of figuring it out. And you know Islam means peace and blah blah blah. Um, but um, so I, I I told you that because God I believe God had me read the Quran. You know Jesus had a plan for me. Yeah. Um, so because I've 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 witnessed to a lot of Muslims. I even like last month I have a doctor who's Muslim um, and I prayed for him because he told me how his family was being murdered in Syria and I was crying in the office and I prayed for him but when I started to use as you said the hard terminology like the son of God and all that he was like I cannot pray I cannot I cannot because I said you know he accepted the prayer in the name of Isa okay but he didn't accept I asked him if he wanted to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior and he didn't, and yes. and he said. Then he started saying, "Oh, Miriam, there's a chapter about yes. Miriam, blah blah blah." So I, I view uh, the way that I've tell me if this is correct or not. The way that I've kind of planted a seed about when I get because I automatically go, "Jesus is the Son of God." Yes. And they say, "Well, how can he be?" I said, "Well, who is Jesus? How was Jesus born? Yes. Was it Holy Spirit? It just says in the Quran, Holy Spirit put Jesus in in Mary's womb, in Miriam's womb." And I was like, "Well, who's the Spirit of God?" It's, it's God. Yeah. So I, that's how I kind of plant those, those, those seeds. Um, but I'm really, I really value what you said about, you know, using, yeah. not using those hard terminology yes. and talking about love yeah. and asking people, challenging them, read the Bible. Like re and I do kind of say that. Like how can, I usually say, how can you like pizza if you never tried it? So, you know, read. You'll never know unless you try it. Yes. And um, so is there any tips you can give yes. about Yes. Number one, you said something about Muslims believe that Jesus, his name is Isa. Mm -hmm. Don't use the Isa because okay. Isa, not Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Number two, wow. what you started is wrong. Jesus is God. This yeah. is wrong. Mm -hmm. Who said that Jesus is God? <laughs> Show me in Bible that Jesus is God. One verse. He's the son of God. He's the word. Well, it just says him and the Father are one. Yeah. Show me. You said now that Jesus is God. Show me in the Bible where Jesus is God. Never find this. Yeah. But God is Jesus. Yeah. This is different. Amen. Amen. Yeah. On the time God sent him his son to us as a flesh. Yeah. Okay. So number one, Jesus is God is wrong. How can limited come unlimited? It's wrong. But unlimited can be limited, yes. Or God, if God not able to be limited, something wrong. Can and God and can I, God I, become I human? Argument too, like show me where how they they've said that where where is Jesus? You know, where does it say that he is God? God said, I am before Abraham. I am there. Yeah. I am and Father is one. Yeah. Yes. And I am the bread who come yeah. from heaven. Yeah. yeah. All of this. Well, but Jesus says, I am. Yeah, he says that. He says, I am. Yes. This is before. So he says he is God. Yes. He says in that verse. Yes, but 
with Muslims, couldn't right. imagine man come right. God. Impossible. God come human? Yes. yes. How can man become God? Yeah. But God come in flesh. Yes. 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 This is yes. the right. So we not this way, Jesus. but so this way. accept Jesus Christ, we're not a son of God. Yes. Sorry? When we accept Jesus Christ, we're not a son of God. We accept Jesus Christ as a son of God, yes. So we become God. We become. Yes. Jesus is a human come in flesh. But before he is come in flesh, what is the son of God? What is the son of God? Yes. Before he came before he come in flesh. God. He was God. He was, he was God. God. So God come as a flesh. He came as flesh. Yes, now come as son of God. In access into heaven that we would be able to. Yes. And that makes us gods too. Spirit. Spirit and truth. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't get to heaven unless you're a spirit. Mm -hmm. so I'm not understanding. The way you say it. Jesus, no, no. The, how 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 you're saying? The opposite saying of what we've been taught. Yeah. No, no. What, what he's, he's saying, saying is, we we have a tendency to say this that you know Jesus. Is here he came so he is it, we're looking at this what he's saying is God in the flesh so I want to make sure that doesn't get yes. stuck up in the translation God came to earth as flesh through Jesus so yes that's what he's saying okay we believe that right all right so that's what he's saying yeah. not saying that God and Jesus weren't Equal. So Equal. Jesus they weren't God. God he's he just saying that, that when we say it, that God, the flesh came God. God. He's not saying the flesh, Jesus, Jesus did, became God. God. He was God. Come from heaven. Yeah. He's I mean, I mean, the, the whole time you've been saying Jesus is God, so we understand. But we, yeah. just as far yeah. as talking to, to Muslims, when you're talking to Muslims, them, God, it's to get because they're going to twist it. God is Jesus. God, God is come by Holy Jesus, God, Holy Spirit, as you said, come here and come flesh. Not created. Not God created. before uh, before Moses he was there, mm -hmm. but he came as a flesh. I couldn't. Muslims think we believe that when Jesus come live among us, he become son of God. No, he was already son of God. Meaning God married Mary has baby. Is you, do, do you believe this? Do you believe that God married Mary has baby? That's that's what I believe. For this reason, it's a different Trinity: Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Right. So. Uh, can you explain? Because I think you're getting confused. Yeah. Okay, what you what he was trying to say. Yeah. Because what he's saying is so, what we all believe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I think he, he said it the whole time. Like yeah. Jesus is God. And, you know, but 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 it's but you know it's about this. It's that when you're talking to Muslims, they they don't they won't receive it. Like I, every time that I go and talk to a Muslim and said, you know, Jesus is the Son of God or anything like that, they, they automatically shut down and turn off, and all yeah. I can do is yeah. plant, plant the seed. So, I, so we, we should we should really listen. Please, please, anyone has Bible here? Oh. Yes. Yeah, open, open, Timothy, First Timothy, yeah. verse, uh, chapter three, verse sixteen. First uh, Timothy. Chapter 3, verse 16. Can anyone read, please? Yes. God bless you. Bye bye. Anyone read? Yes, first, please. First Timothy, chapter 3, 16. Yes. And, with, and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles believed on in the world, received up in the glory. Yes, that's what we believe. Is it right? Yes. So that's only. Yeah. It doesn't mean that we believe. So what you were saying is that when we've got to be careful how we're ministering to them, yes. because if we said Jesus became God, yes. no, he was already God. When he come to the earth as born to Mary, he came it was father to the earth. I'm just wondering why, why, why did they just leave? I know, I just said, I think. Because there's a misunderstanding. Yeah, there's a misunderstanding. There's a misunderstanding. Uh, so you stay and talk, what, the angry yeah. for me? Well, I think there was misunderstanding in the part of me. No, there was. I think it's time to go. Okay, okay. good, good. I want to make sure. Yeah. The slap. Mm -hmm. Sorry. No, most of the time it was United Methodist. Yeah. Most of the time, yeah. beat me up. Speaking to the mic, are there cultural things that we need to be aware of? Um, like, for, 
instance, in that scenario, I know that uh, Pastor Dottie approached you. Is there a certain protocol? I mean, obviously, probably it wouldn't be good for a man to, to go to a woman if the husband is there, or is there a certain little things in communication that we need to know? Number one, don't talk with two Muslims together. Talk one by one. Yes. Because most of time, if I talk with two together, sometimes she won't accept Jesus, but she's scared from the other one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay? Or if she accepts Jesus, the other one will start to argue. Yeah. Okay. So two by two, this is number one. Number two, it's not good that to go to talk with women in front of her husband. Yeah. Why not talk with her husband better than to talk with him? Yeah, absolutely. Okay? Number three, women talk with women. Men talk with men. That is the better. Women not talk with women in front of her husband also because women will never accept to talk with you about Jesus in front of her husband. Yes. Yeah. When I spoke to the woman at Walmart, it was just her and her children. She can accept that talk. She, yeah. And when her husband comes, she will escape. Yeah. yeah. I think most of people leave now. Mm -hmm. So I think we need also to leave. But yeah. please, we have a t-shirt behind. This yes, is let's about, let's take care. Is it uh, about uh, our persecuted home. church. One more and, question. Yes. One more question, anyone? Yes. Yeah. You got one in the back. Oh, how did you have courage in prison? And how did your wife have courage when she was um, persecuted? Sorry? Did you, did, how did you have courage right. in prison and not be afraid when you're tortured and beaten to a coma? I saw Jesus Christ. He appeared for me on cross. Really? And he was naked. And uh, I told him, why you left me? He said, they accused me before I accused you. I said, but why am I? He said, will you follow me? I said, yes, but why am I? He said, will you follow me? I said, yes, but please promise me by one thing. I need to take my revenge. And from this time, I take my revenge from Satan. When I talk with Muslims about Jesus and kidnap people from darkness, make Satan angry. Yeah. You know, I like to let him be angry with me. That's all. Yeah. Yes. More. Yes. Um, I don't know if this is too personal or not, but when you were coming up as a Muslim, did you sense that you were different somehow or like you couldn't relate to what you were being taught? Like there was something more? Explain, please. Um, did you f sort of know in your heart when you were raised as a Muslim did you ever like question if there was something more? Or did you kind of feel like yes. you didn't really fit in? I start, I, most of Muslim has questions, but they couldn't ask these questions because it's, I will be infinite. Because Quran gave me order not to think. Not think, not ask questions, because you don't know anything. Because you're a slave. But when my friend, yes, because I'm slave. But when my friend gave me the Bible, everything changed because he gave me opportunity to think and to ask. I live in dangerous. Where are you? I will lose my faith. If you don't find me, I will lose. I will go. Here I discovered that no God has time. Mm -hmm. That's all. So, yes. You mentioned about abrogation. Yes. Um, and that everything prior to Surah 9 is old. Yes, it's only reading. Okay, so. When people read the Quran, are they reading the old as well? All reading everything. Yeah. But when you talk with them, can you can you respect the Christian? They said no. Why? Who understand abrogation? Because most of people not understand abrogation. Yeah. Most of people used the verses from Quran talk about mercy and uh, forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So you must tell them this is abrogated. It's finished. Well, it's why, done. Why do they even read it if it's if it's canceled? Because it's this no. is an inspiration from God, for inspiration, inspiration from Allah. So you must read. It. This is a problem. Ask them. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Ask them why you read even you not to you do it. I will tell you something. Yeah. In Quran, when they find someone adultery, yeah. okay, with them, eighty slash except one. This means seventy nine slash. Ask Muslim when adultery, man and woman, you catch them. What is the Sharia laws? He will tell you, stone them out. Where is this in Quran? Not in Quran, it's abrogated, it's canceled. But they still work that. Yeah. Like tradition? Yes. Yeah.
So many things in Islam, if, if, if Islam is spirit of confusion, yeah. you find everything as opposites. Thank you because we need to go because it's yeah. nice. I will go to Virginia. He's got to go to Virginia. I have one question and we'll end it with that and then we're gonna come up and give our offerings. So go ahead and get your offerings ready where I ask this question, he's gonna answer it as we're getting our offering ready. And uh, here's the question. You had explained before, what is the difference between a good Muslim and a Muslim? And some people don't understand. They just think everybody's the same. Because like you said, he says he's got a friend that he raised up and hang out with him. Was, there, was that considered a good Muslim? He's not good Muslim, because if he's a good Muslim, he must kill you. Yeah. Yeah. And he, not, he must cut relationship with you because you are unclean. Right. He never check hand you. Yeah. One day I went to the National Day for National Breakfast Day with Mr. Trump last year. Yeah. And I lead one session, one workshop. And one lady from the Senator of Maine, she's so deep in me. Yeah. And she's flexible. And she told me, you are a prejudice. You are... Uh, racist against Islam. I told him, man, I'm sorry, but I'll tell you something. If you went to this room to make a pee, mm -hmm. what will you do after you make pee? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I wash my hands. I said, okay. Islam teach me, after I shake hand you, I must go to wash my hands because you are unclean. Mm -hmm. Do you think I am racist? Or Islam is racist? Mm -hmm. so, Good, answer. Good Muslims, Good answer. he must not do anything outside Quran. What Quran said, I must do that. What Quran told me to do, I must do that. If Quran not say something, I must shut my mouth. This is a good Muslim. Good Muslim, he must live as Islam says. Not be friendly. Cute Islam, cute Muslim, this is not Islam. Muslim who is dressing jeans and go to eat in KFC, this is not Muslims. Why? Because KFC make a fork. So he couldn't touch it. Muslim who work in, in uh, Walmart, not Muslim, because he touch wine, he touch pork. Muslim who shake hands with Christian, he's not Muslim. For this reason, you find Muslims kill Muslims. And after that, Muslim told you, you see, terrorists kill Muslims also. Yeah. They kill Muslim. Yes, I kill Muslim because he's evil. Mm -hmm. I not kill him because he's not Muslim. No, he's Muslim, he know Islam, but he refused to live by Islam. I must kill him first. So Sunni kill Shia. Muslim Brotherhood kill radical. Jihad kill Muslim Brotherhood. <laughs> radical Muslim kill secular Muslim. All people kill each other. Why? For no reason. Spirit of killer. Yes. So please be careful when you talk yeah, with Muslims, because Muslims talk with him, don't compromise, speak by word of God, even right or wrong, but speak. Let Holy Spirit use this. Amen. That's all. Amen. Thank you. Well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and let's pray for uh, let's pray for the pastor and his wife. She she yeah. just stepped out, but I want you.